Today we explore the reappearance of China's latest heavy attack helicopter, the Z-21, as it continues flight testing more than a year after its first public sighting. This new rotorcraft represents a significant advancement in China's Army aviation capabilities, aiming to field a platform capable of matching or even surpassing the American AH-64 Apache. The Z-21 airframe builds directly on the Harbin Z-20 multi-role transport helicopter, itself influenced by the United States UH-60 Black Hawk design. By leveraging an existing utility helicopter, Chinese engineers have been able to accelerate development and reduce technical risk. The tail section and rotor system remain largely unchanged from the Z-20, but the fuselage has been slimmed down and reconfigured into a tandem two-seat cockpit, typical of modern attack helicopters. Photographs circulating on social media reveal distinctive fairings along the sides of the fuselage that closely resemble those on the Apache series. These cheek fairings likely house additional avionics or ammunition storage. The stub wings are fitted with multiple hard points, suggesting that the Z-21 will carry a combination of air-to-surface missiles, unguided rockets, and gun pods. A flight test probe mounted on the nose confirms that this helicopter remains in a prototype phase. One of the most notable design choices is the upward-facing engine exhaust. By directing hot gases upward, the designers aim to reduce the infrared signature and make the helicopter less vulnerable to heat-seeking missiles. Antennas and other fuselage protuberances hint at an integrated self-defense suite, which may include radar warning receivers, electronic countermeasures, and flare dispensers. This array of survivability features underscores a focus on operations in contested airspace. Reports indicate that the Z-21 has undergone trials in the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, where extreme altitude and thin air challenge both lift capacity and engine output. To meet these demands, the Z-21 uses twin turboshaft engines rated at around 2,000 horsepower each more powerful than those found on the Z-10 medium attack helicopter. These engines promise improved payload capacity and endurance at high elevation, making the Z-21 well-suited for mountain operations. Although China's Ministry of National Defense has not officially designated the program as Z-21 or released formal specifications, open source images and commentary suggest that testing remains active. Development involves multiple industrial entities, Harbin Aircraft Manufacturing for the airframe, Chanje Aircraft Industries for weapons integration, and the Six and Second Research Institute for avionics and sensor suites. This cross-company collaboration mirrors the approach taken during the development of earlier attack helicopters. Introducing a true heavy attack helicopter fills a gap in the People's Liberation Army's rotary wing inventory. Until now, Chinese forces have relied on the Z-10 medium attack helicopter and the Z-19 scout attack variant, both optimized for lighter missions. A 10-ton class platform like the Z-21 can carry a heavier payload and deliver longer range precision strikes. Such capabilities would be critical in any scenario involving island hopping operations in the South China Sea or rapid intervention along the line of actual control with India. China's journey toward a heavy attack helicopter has deep roots. In the early 1990s, the People's Liberation Army considered acquiring Soviet-designed Mil Mi-24 Hind helicopters, but political upheaval prevented the purchase. Instead, China developed interim platforms like the Z-9WA armed variant of the Z-9 light utility helicopter. Experience with the Z-9WA guided the requirements for the Z-10, which entered service in 2010 as China's first dedicated attack helicopter. The Z-19 Scout attack helicopter followed two years later. Unconfirmed accounts suggest that the Z-21 may enter limited production within two to three years. In the longer term, this helicopter could form the backbone of China's army aviation for heavy lift strike missions. There is also potential for maritime variants to serve with the People's Liberation Army Navy Marine Corps aboard amphibious assault ships. 
As Chinese engine technology continues to improve, the Z21 may evolve into an even more capable platform with extended range and higher payloads. The reappearance of the Z21 in flight testing highlights China's ongoing commitment to modernizing its attack helicopter fleet. Although many details remain under wraps, the helicopter's distinctive silhouette, advanced survivability features, and heavy payload capacity mark it as a next-generation platform. As testing continues and official information emerges, the Z21 will command close attention from defense analysts and military planners around the world.